Seven Day Volume by John Frieda. New in shower treatment. Thicker, fuller hair. Me and John and luxurious volume. Together we can. Rain chances are lower today, but we could still see showers and thunderstorms this afternoon. We would never ever give up. A family pleading to find the killer after 20 years plus caught on camera. A deputy killing a dog next on WPTV News Channel 5 at noon. You're driving along and then it happens. You get hurt in a car accident. Rubenstein Law starts working on your accident case the minute you call. Now that's fast. I'm attorney Robert Rubenstein. Call me. I want to be your attorney. Call 1-800-FL-LEGAL. At Schumacher, it's time for a spring celebration. Right now, there's up to 11000 in savings on Chevy Silverado at Schumacher. For the best Chevy experience in the Palm Beaches, come join the family at Schumacher. It's everything women want and need in a talk show. Food, decor, fitness, fashion. Stephen and Chris, weekdays at 2 on WPTV News Channel 5. Today I'm back with Carter Osterhouse, the winner of America Designed Your Kitchen. This is Melissa. And earlier, I know, yay! Earlier in the show, we revealed that you guys chose Melissa to win a brand new kitchen designed by Carter. That's all thanks to you guys and your votes. Carter has three different distinct designs. You guys are going to be the boss of that too. You're going to vote on that next. Carter, walk us through them. Take it away. All right, so here we go. So the first design we have here, the first style, is modern traditional. Now, this kind of sounds like an oxymoron, but it's not. We're going to see it right up here on the picture. Now, the, uh, modern traditional is a sense of traditional feeling, but with modern aesthetics. So what we have here is dark cabinets with, of course, the light color countertops, a lot of updated items within there. If you go to the overview plan, or the overhead look, you'll see that we we blew out that wall that goes into your so you dining room. So you can see your son so now, all the time. So you can see your son, and that's one of the things you wanted. But you also have a lot more surface area to work with that, with that little peninsula. Now, if we look at the mood board, which is cool about this, this is all the items we're putting in there. We have the stainless steel sink. Uh, the flooring is a light-toned floor. And uh, we have the uh, bright nickel hardware you can see on the lower portion there. And the pendant lights, which are glass. And that looks great with that modern feel, but still traditional and cozy. Okay, what's number two? Number two is Seaside Chic. Now, this place is just oozing <laughs> awesomeness. Now, this uh, is a really... I, I know which one they like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, this, think like the Hamptons, think you're at the beach. But the cool thing about this, when your friends come over, they're never going to leave this place because it's so nice. Now, if you look at that overview picture, the only thing we really switched besides the style, you can see we put the Peninsula. So now it's more of a breakfast bar. So you'll still be able to see into your living room. And right, the wall's gone. Yeah. You can still see your but son. But you have a lot more surface area like before. Now, if we look at the, meat, the mood board for Seaside Chic, you can see we have the white cabinets. Again, that medium tone, dark floor, the ash quartz countertops, the farm style Beautiful. sink. You have that, uh, you know, the goose neck in there with the white leather uh, fabrics and, of course, wow. all updated appliances. Cool. Well, we still have a third, which is really cool as well. And this hits what you wanted, Melissa. Which, this is country fresh. Now, the cool thing about this is we did not rip out any walls because we're keeping your storage. So if you look at that overhead view, what we did where we ripped out the walls in the previous two photos, here we have a lot of storage area because that's what you desperately needed, which mm -hmm. you didn't have from before. Now, if you look at the mood board on this, you'll see that the cabinet is the cherry husk feeling. We have oak floors. We have still the farm style sink with the apron, and we have that sort of uh, interwoven basket weave uh, backsplash of tile, which Think, makes me think of like an apple pie or something, you know, just just uh, just that look, which again, it's cozy, it's comfortable, and it's really farm style, but fresh. Wow, you guys have a really tough job ahead of you, but no matter which kitchen is selected, thanks to our great friends, our generous friends at LG, your kitchen is going to feature appliances that no one else has, literally. They are brand new, they're from their diamond collection, kitchen suite, and the appliances are so versatile that they're going to look great in any of the three kitchens, which is great news. Yes. Mm -hmm. Cardi, you did a great job oh, creating three different environments. God bless you and your family. So You're excited about all three of them? Oh, they all look great. All oh, that's great. good. They're that's all good. beautiful yes. and they would that. be an improvement, <laughs> Absolutely. right? Absolutely. <laughs> and they make life a whole lot oh easier. Oh, my God, yes. Uh, here's how it works, guys. Starting today, everyone can go online, of course, to cast their votes to determine which kitchen Carter's going to be constructing in Melissa's home. You can choose from the modern, traditional, the seaside, chic, or the country fresh. Head over to our website, click on America Designed Your Kitchen from now until 11.59 p.m. on April 27th. You'll 
you'll have to tune in to see which design um, was selected thanks to your votes. Carter, you're psyched no matter what, right? Yeah, I, now I know where I gotta go, but now I just have to figure out what kitchen I have to make. That's right, yeah. we got three great fans. Congratulations again to Melissa and her husband and her beautiful son. We'll see you next year, everybody, bye-bye. Next on News Channel 5 at noon, before we hit the weekend, another chance of rain, when and where. Also, the latest scam popping up in mailboxes, which government agency is scrambling to distance itself. We're back in just 30 seconds. I work at the Palm Beach County Club. I love my job, and I love the people I work with. We're family. We care about each other. And we care about our community. We believe in giving back and getting involved. Because we know that people are what matters most. I am. I am. I am. I am Palm Beach County Club. Live, local, from WPTV, this is News Channel 5 at noon. Local coverage you can count on. A great afternoon outside, but as we know, this time yesterday, it slowly started to go downhill. Yeah, so we are hoping this midday that more of that late afternoon thunderstorm action doesn't happen again. Yeah, for the answer, let's send it over to Storm Team 5 meteorologist Glenn Glazer. Glenn, fingers crossed. Say what? <laughs> oh, fingers crossed. <laughs> I thought you said Alex Cross, which I've read some of those books oh, that are very good. All right, let me show I don't know. Uh, here's what we're looking at this afternoon. Uh, live, uh, uh, live five camera, Peanut Island, Singer Island, looking pretty good. Uh, we don't have the kind of activity that we had yesterday. Yesterday afternoon at this time, it was really firing up all over the place. We do have a few showers around, and this afternoon we have the potential for isolated to scattered showers and a few thunderstorms, but nothing widespread like we saw yesterday. Here's a quick look at what's going on right now. A little shower just cruising out to the east of Fort Pierce there, one to the southeast of Fort Drum. And so some of the heaviest rainfall actually coming down right now, uh, right down here, just to the east of Southern Boulevard now and over Palm Beach and down south a little bit. There's a couple showers. Is there one more down south there? Yeah, there was one more uh, that moved off of Boynton Beach down here. So as we continue through the afternoon, rain chances will increase. I'll show you where we can see the most rainfall coming up in a few minutes. All right, thanks, Glenn. Family and friends, this right here is a site where they came together to pay their respects to an 18-year-old killed in a car crash in the acreage. Brittany Baxter was driving down Tangerine Boulevard yesterday when another car ran a stop sign on 120th Avenue. News Channel 5's Tanya Rogers is live at the school now with how Brittany Baxter is being remembered there. Tanya. Now we are live at Seminole Ridge High School. This is the high school where Brittany was a student. She had a parking spot here, parking spot number 147. As you can see, students actually put together a memorial for her. You see the beautiful flowers are placed here. She was an avid softball player, so they left a couple of softballs and just put many flowers and candles to decorate this. Many of them can't believe, though, that she is gone. A somber time as Brittany is remembered. The Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office says on Thursday, Brittany was driving westbound on Tangerine Boulevard in the acreage when investigators say a driver heading north on 120th Avenue ran a stop sign hitting Brittany's car. She died at the scene. Now, no charges have been filed just yet, but PBSO says the investigation continues. Now, last night, friends held a vigil in Brittany's memory, and today, students showed up at 6.45 in the morning for a memorial at the school. Grief counselors have been talking to students in Brittany's classrooms. Time that I, times that I had spoken with her, she you know, came off as a very mature, uh, well-spoken young lady and very clear focus of what she wanted to do. Um, just a confident young woman. Now, the principal told us that other events are also being uh, put together for over the weekend and into next week, still in the beginning stages. We're also being told that some of Brittany's friends are actually have agreed to change her Facebook page and actually change it into a blue butterfly in memory of Brittany. Reporting live, Tanya Rogers, WPTV News Channel 5. Right now, police in Fort Pierce are raising the reward for information on the shooting that left a two-year-old in critical condition. The two-year-old was shot during a string of three gang-related shootings 
shootings Monday night. The reward now increased to $5,000. If you have any information, call Treasure Coast Crime Stoppers. And happening today, the Army Corps of Engineers has begun discharging water from Lake Okeechobee into the St. Lucie River. The Corps hasn't released water for the past three weeks and says the levels were going down. That is until after the rain fell this week. These discharges have been blamed in the past for creating toxic algae in the area. It killed wildlife and hurt the environment. However, the Corps says this needs to happen as we get closer to the rainy season. The search continues for the crooks who broke into a home in West Palm Beach during the day. Investigators say two of them trashed a house on Dudley Drive yesterday. They got away with bags of jewelry and cash. According to a sign posted in the complex, the burglars are a man and a woman who took off in a beige Toyota Camry or a Corolla. If you have any information on this, call Crime Stoppers, the number right there on your screen. You might just change where you get your next fill up after you hear what thieves are doing to gas pumps in Palm Beach County and the Treasure Coast. After a statewide sweep, 81 skimmers were found at pumps throughout the state and out of those, eight were found in Palm Beach County. If you want to know which ones we're talking about, we have a full list on our WPTV Facebook page. New this noon, state lawmakers just gave final approval to a bill allowing secret recordings of conversations if they involve discussions of sexual assaults or other illegal acts of physical force or violence. The bill was spurred by a Florida Supreme Court decision last year ordering a new trial for a man sentenced to life in prison for sexually abusing his stepdaughter. The court said recordings made by the man's uh, stepdaughter should not have been allowed into his Lee County trial. That's a bill now that's going to go to Governor Scott's desk. All aboard Florida and the city of West Palm Beach have reached a deal. The agreement clearing the way for construction to begin on projects near the downtown station near Clematis Street. City commissioners are expected to take a vote finalizing this agreement on Monday. You know, it's been more than 20 years since a Vero Beach woman was abducted, robbed, and murdered. Her family making another plea, hoping someone knows her killer. Somebody knows, and maybe they don't even know they know. We would never, ever give up. Mary Ellen Wise, who you see here, was 39 when she was taken from her home November 1992. Her body was found in St. Lucie County less than a week later. If you have any information on this case, you can call Treasure Coast Crime Stoppers and remain anonymous. A new report reveals signs of progress on the homeless front in Palm Beach County. The number of homeless people is declining. The county sent out a couple hundred people in January to take a formal count. A little over 1,400 people is what they came up with. The county says the overall drop is about 9% from two years ago. They credit this to more employment programs as well as looser housing requirements. Right now, world leaders marking the 100th anniversary of the 1915 Ottoman massacres of Armenians in the country's capital. Among the dignitaries, the presidents of France and Russia, Historians estimate up to 1.5 million Armenians were killed by Ottoman Turks around the time of World War I. Now the event widely viewed by scholars as the first genocide of the 20th century. However, Turkey denies the deaths constitu constituted genocide. It says the toll has been inflated and that those killed were victims of civil war and even unrest. U.S. officials have confirmed a CIA counterterrorism drone strike is what killed two aid workers in Pakistan in January. The victims right there, an American and an Italian worker, were being held hostage by militants at that time. The other Americans working with al-Qaeda, two of them were also killed in the strike. Officials said the CIA didn't know it was specifically killing any of these men. When News Channel 5 returned turns a stage collapses at the end of a high school musical injuring nearly two dozen students will have the latest on how they're doing and a new ice cream recall which company's pulling its products off the shelves and taking drastic steps to keep you safe we are back in just 60 seconds with more local coverage it's time for the Sweet Corn Fiesta. Come to Yesteryear Village Sunday, April 26th for some butter licking good time. See Tom Jackson in concert. Food, fun, and games for the whole family. Opens at 11. The Sweet Corn Fiesta. It's irresistible. Need a new mattress? Come to El Dorado and shop Florida's largest mattress selection. I work at the Palm Beach County Club. I love my job, and I love the people I work with. We're family. We care about each other. 
And we care about our community. We believe in giving back. And getting involved. Because we know that people are what matters most. I am. I am. I am. I am Palm Beach County Club. Covering stories across America, authorities say no one was seriously hurt. They know that now when a high school stage with dozens of students on it collapsed last night. Students at Westfield High near Indianapolis were finishing up a performance when the floor suddenly dropped out beneath them. Emergency responders say nearly two dozen kids were hurt. All those said to be doing very well this afternoon. One performer described falling about eight feet into the orchestra pit below. Why this happened is under investigation. The mystery deepens into a mid-air scare over Buffalo. More than one passenger passed out on that United Airlines SkyWest flight Wednesday. At least three passed out and many more got sick. Now the captain feared a pressure problem and descended very, very rapidly. And once on the ground though, everybody was fine. Maintenance teams, they still have not been able to identify a problem with the aircraft that's back in service today. One of the twins from the hit sitcom, Everybody Loves Raymond, has passed away. Sawyer Sweeten was 19. His sister said in a statement he took his own life and that the family asked for privacy. Sweeten starred next to his real life twin brother Sullivan and sister Madeline on Everybody Loves Raymond for nine years. In a city the size of New York, not uncommon to see strange things, but what was seen roaming the streets of Manhattan last night? was really wild. For the third time this week, a coyote was on a city street. Police, they tried to capture it, but didn't have any luck. Experts say New Yorkers should expect to see more of them as they become more comfortable adapting to the city streets and the parks. We talked about coyotes being spotted in Boca Raton right? this morning. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right, coming up next, Dr. Oz will not be silenced. Now, how he's fighting back against calls he should resign from his university post. And in today's test kitchen, a trick to make homemade Chinese food that tastes takeout worthy. Mmm, I like the sound of that. Okay, here's a quick look at Live Viper 5 Max this afternoon. A few showers kind of shooting offshore here uh, down south of West Palm Beach. We're going to talk more about our potential for rainfall today and through the weekend coming up in just a few minutes. You're up this early because you want to squeeze a little more out of your day. I'm busy during the day. I want to know what the traffic conditions are. WPTV Time Saver Traffic with the only local chopper covering your neighborhood. They're going to alert me of any traffic conditions so that I can replan my route to work. A first-hand look at traffic jams so you don't have to guess. You get an aerial view of the entire area. Chopper 5, Time Saver Traffic, the only morning traffic team. Today on 5 on WPTV News Channel 5. Hello, Jupiter to Cuesta. I need some help with my air conditioning. Quick, efficient home repair is reason to celebrate. Sharon, don't believe you're going to eat that. Oh, gosh. I used to be so afraid to eat certain foods. So, what happened? Those aren't dentures, are they? Absolutely not. They're permanent teeth. And you're not going to believe this. It only took one day. Say goodbye to dentures with the Ferber Dental Group's One Day Smiles technique. Now is your time to get your smile back. Welcome to Subway. What can I make for you? How about something from our new Greek-inspired Mediterranean collection? Juicy chicken or tender steak? Topped with crumbled feta cheese, crunchy cucumbers, black olives, or any of your favorite veggies. The finishing touch is a creamy tzatziki sauce. Try yours on fresh toasted flatbread, as a fresh chopped salad, or in a soft flour wrap. The new Subway Mediterranean collection won't be here long, so enjoy it while it lasts. Subway, eat fresh. Managing depression, it's about getting you back to you and all the things that matter to you. Whether or not you're taking an antidepressant, feelings such as depressed mood and lack of energy can still get in the way. And that's just not you. We're conducting a clinical research study evaluating an investigational drug designed to work with antidepressants to see if it can help address unresolved symptoms of depression. So give us a call and see if you may be eligible to participate. Hello, Jupiter to Cuesta. I need some help with my electrical. Quick, efficient home repair is reason to celebrate. 
Closed captioning on WPTV is sponsored by Bethesda Health. Covering Florida now, a semi-truck exploding on I-95 outside of Jacksonville. Look at that. A camera caught this blast of flames right there shooting into the sky. You can see lots of smoke right there as well. Uh, the truck driver had pulled over to the side of the road minutes later. That's when this happened. Florida Highway Patrol says the driver wasn't hurt and that a mechanical failure is what caused that explosion. The truck was carrying electronic materials, but none of them were hazardous. Uproar in a Florida county after a death deputy shoots and kills a dog and the whole thing caught on the deputy's body camera. Now the video shows two dogs coming at the deputy. We're not going to show you when the dogs were actually shot, but they're responding to a silent house alarm fire or house alarm. 18 month old cowboy died when the officer shot him. The sheriff says deputies have been getting threats ever since this happened. Listen to this. I keep going back to what would you do in your situation? What would you do if you were wearing his boots? out there, an intrusion alarm, you don't know what is happening, you have two massive dogs, 80 pound dogs charging at you. It's a scary situation for that deputy out there. If he's coming to protect my property, he took my most valuable property away from me. I can replace a TV, I can replace a microwave, I can't replace my dog. That's my family, that's my son. Dog's owner now says she wants an apology from the sheriff's office and also wants the sheriff to pay her back for her dog. A consumer alert this midday. The Federal Trade Commission has a warning about a bold scam making its way into mailboxes across the country. It's a letter appearing to be from a California attorney who says the government agency appointed him to help you claim a two and a half million dollar sweepstakes prize. It's all fake though. The FTC does not give out sweepstakes prizes and if the agency ever does an investigation where consumers are supposed to get money back, Back. The FTC will contact you directly. You will never have to pay a dime up front. All right, you might just want to skip the ice cream for a while. Another ice cream maker pulling its products off store shelves because of listeria concerns. Jenny Splendid Ice Creams not only pulling all of its products, it's also closed down all of its ice cream shops temporarily. This after listeria was found in a random sample. Listeria is an organism that can cause serious or even fatal infections in certain people, including children and the elderly. Bluebell Creameries issued that big recall of all its products earlier this week over similar concerns. Another health alert here. Pediatricians reminding parents babies should never sleep in uh, anything else but a crib. Really, they're saying no car seats, no swings, not even bouncers for that matter. Researchers looked at 47 children under two years old, how they died. All of them were sitting in carrying devices. Most deaths were attributed to asphyxia from strangulation or unsafe positioning. Experts advise parents to never leave a child unsupervised while in a carrying device. A buckle all straps also be sure infants can't twist their heads into soft bedding. Dr. Oz is on the defense this afternoon. Last week, doctors from around the world called for him to be fired from Columbia University. Well, now he's facing new heat as doctors from within his own hospital, raising questions about some of the health advice he gives out. But Dr. Oz is defending the content of his show. The show's purpose is not to talk about medicine. The show's purpose is to talk about the good life, what you need to, to, to do to live your best. The doctors from the university say they don't want him fired. They just want a disclaimer on his show that states the opinions on the show may not be based on evidence and aren't endorsed by the university. The NBA has opened a training camp for Cuban basketball players in Havana. The National Basketball League becomes the first major U.S. sport to venture into Cuba and develop talent on the island since the country began restoring ties last December. The league hopes to boost the game's popularity among Cubans. The camp is at Havana University. University. Close to 100 Cuban athletes are involved. Today's a big anniversary for the American space program. The Hubble telescope turns 25 today. Telescopes located about 340 miles above Earth and is operated out of a NASA facility in Maryland has the capacity to see things over 13 billion light years away. You can see some of those images right now as I'm talking. Take a look at that. Awesome, right? Millions of observations have happened since it's launched for 25 years. The power source hasn't come from Earth, but from the sun. And as cool as these images are, NASA has plans for even more powerful telescopes that are set to launch in October 2018.
Now, Storm Team 5 with South Florida's most accurate weather forecast. And in just a moment for now, I'm going to tell you about something you'll be able to see over the skies of South Florida, or over the earth tonight, in the skies above South Florida later on. Uh, let me show you what's happening right now. We've got some blue skies here. We have some clouds around, too. And we got a little bit of rainfall this afternoon. A couple of showers now in St. Lucie County and Indian River County. And if I zoom in a little bit here, you'll be able to check out that little shower just south of Vero Beach there and heading down toward Round Island Park. And also, we've got a few showers traveling south of Belgrade glade here and in Palm Beach County right off the coast a few showers kind of scooting just to the east of Palm Beach there and heading down to the southeast. You'll notice the direction that the rainfall is moving this afternoon so far and that's because winds are carrying the showers from northwest to southeast but Notice this, up to the north, see how the winds are starting to turn more northeasterly here? That's going to move down the coast today. So our winds will eventually turn more northeasterly later this afternoon. And here's what that means for us. For the next couple of hours anyway, any showers that develop will move over toward the coast because of the northwesterly winds. But later on this afternoon, here's 3 o'clock. Watch what happens at 4 o'clock, 5.30. Notice that the rainfall is not along the coast anymore. It's a little farther inland. That's because the northeasterly winds will be pushing the rainfall farther inland. So we do have a chance for a few showers and thunderstorms today. It'll be closer to the coast for the next couple of hours, but then anything that develops later on this afternoon should be a little farther inland as winds change direction. Here's a look at the rainfall chances through today and through the weekend. We're looking at about a 30% chance for rain through the rest of today and a 20% chance tomorrow. Then only about a 30% chance on Sunday. It starts to pick up a little bit. 40% chance Monday and a 60% chance for showers and thunderstorms by the time we get to Tuesday and even Wednesday of next week. High temperatures today. Mid to upper 80s. Partly sunny skies right now, nice and warm, winds shifting around to the northeast, and that chance for rainfall as we continue through the afternoon. Tonight, above uh, South Florida here, if you look up in the sky around 850, you'll be able to see the International Space Station fly overhead from northwest to southeast. I posted this on my meteorologist Glenn Glazer Facebook page as well if you need the details, but it'll be visible for about three minutes, and it's a pretty cool sight if you've never seen it before. It just looks like a big glowing softball. Just Screaming across the sky. It's really neat. Uh, over the weekend, temperatures getting up into the low 90s, around 90 tomorrow, low 90s Sunday. We could break some record highs on Sunday. Rain chances pick up Tuesday and Wednesday ahead of a cold front. Yes, a cold front that'll move through Wednesday night, cooler and drier on Thursday. So this right here could be pretty impressive. Apparently, you only need five minutes to make this homemade Chinese recipe. In today's test kitchen, Howard says after one taste, you will never order Chinese takeout again. How come whenever we make Chinese food, it never seems to taste like when we order takeout? Well, besides the fact that they often use all sorts of ingredients that we can't find in our everyday supermarket, one of the biggest differences is that Chinese restaurants almost cook everything in a really hot wok. And with a few tricks, we can make ours taste takeout worthy. The first thing we wanna do is make sure that our skillet, or better yet, our wok is super hot before adding any ingredients. You see, the benefit to a wok is that it's designed with more surface area, so everything cooks quickly. After coating it with some peanut oil, we toss in some slivered garlic and ginger. After that starts to sizzle, we add some strips of beef. Once it's browned, which only takes a minute or so, we add in some snow peas, onions, and red peppers. After about a minute or so, we stir in a mixture of soy sauce, brown sugar, rice vinegar, and cornstarch. Maybe serve it with some quick cooking rice and dinner's done faster than you could order takeout. So the next time you're craving Chinese food, go online and get the recipe for our five minute beef stir fry. Now that you know how easy it is. I'm Howard in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a more authentic way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. Looks pretty good. You can find this recipe or any of the others you may be interested in. Just check out our website, wptv.com slash Mr. Food. We'll be right back.
At La Mesa RV, we have the right RV at the right price right now. Like this new Itasca by Winnebago Sunstar, discounted to just $3.43 per month. Massive selection, everyday low prices, only at La Mesa RV of Fort St. Lucie. Ah, Crew Treasure's biggest sale. What? Crew Treasure's biggest sale. Ralph, Polly, why are you squawking? Crew Treasure's big sale of the year. That means you get our amazing finds at the lowest prices. Enormous discounts on art, fine furniture, consignments, and accessories at both True Treasures locations. How could you not know about True Treasures' biggest sale of the year, Molly? Oh, I knew. I was just hoping you wouldn't tell everyone else. You will have fun shopping at True Treasures. Hi, I don't have insurance, so I was hoping my exam and x-rays would be free. Well, I was hoping the dentist would ask me to marry him. <laughs> but we don't all get what we want now, do we? <laughs> Okay, let's try something new. I was hoping my exam and x-rays would be free. They are. I was hoping you'd say that, because that's a normal thing to say. At Aspen Dental, we're not just fixing teeth. We're fixing dentistry. With free exams and x-rays for new patients without insurance. Call 1-800-ASPEN-DENTAL. Children's Hospital. For health, for life. At Stanley Steamer, we go beyond carpet cleaning. We're also experts at cleaning air ducts. The average home collects up to 40 pounds of dirt, dust, and allergens in its air ducts each year. Stanley Steamer thoroughly cleans your air ducts and every part of your ventilation system, making your home cleaner, healthier, and more energy efficient. And that helps you breathe easier. Call now about our air duct cleaning special. Call one. yours. Part Grimm, part Hex and Beast, all trouble. So it's true. All new Grimm, tonight 8, 7 central, here on NBC. This Sunday. You knew this wasn't going to be easy. See why AD is touching millions of hearts across America. My son chose you for a reason. AD, the Bible continues, Sunday 9, 8 central, here on NBC. At La Mesa RV, we have the right RV at the right price right now. Like this new Heartland Elk Ridge Express, discounted to just $234 per month. Massive selection, everyday low prices, only at La Mesa RV of Fort St. Lucie. HD News on WPTV is sponsored by Stanley Steamer. Finally, this at noon, take a look at the world's first hotel private jet. It's a Boeing 757 outfitted with the luxury brand Four Seas and promising to deliver the full fancy hotel experience at 30,000 feet. Features 52 flatbed seats and handcrafted leather, handwoven wool carpets, and fancy tableware. Comes complete with the Four Seasons train cabin crew. The service is taking bookings for around the world trips in 2016. First up, a 24 day, nine destination trip starting at $132,000. Per person. Do you think that ever gets caught on the runway for hours at a time? <laughs> I would be okay in that one. <laughs> Makes travel a little bit better, doesn't it? Look at those seats. Just Fancy. one time. Just, just one once. time I would just love once, to do right? something like that. It's going to happen. Instead of being all smashed up in that middle seat. In the middle seat. <laughs> <laughs> Don't trying to figure that. out if my bag and my feet can both fit underneath the seat. And in someone front of me. puts their uh, feet right in front of you. Shoes why do, off. Why do people jerk their seats back so fast? Why don't what? they recline? It is know, jarring. Slowly. Oh, no. yeah. Anyway, all right. Uh, here's a quick look at your weekend forecast. Temperatures. It's going to be hot. Hot and humid. Near 90 tomorrow. We could break some records. Uh, high temperature records on Sunday. Uh, rain chances will start to pick up a bit on Sunday. But the record high in Vero is 95. The record high West Palm 93. So we're going to come close to those on Sunday. I think we can handle it. Yeah. You can handle it. The red on the hot makes it just look so much hotter. <laughs> yeah, Have a great weekend, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>
are what matters most. I am. I am. I am. I am Palm Beach County Club. Need a new mattress? Come to El Dorado and shop Florida's largest mattress selection. I may be a pizza maker, but I know a few things about dessert. Like chocolate and more chocolate. Introducing our new double chocolate chip brownie. It's a rich and decadent brownie served warm for only $6. Better ingredients, better pizza. PapaJohns.com. Welcome back. Big news from Beverly Hills. Celebrity plastic surgeon Dr. Andrew Orden has discovered an anti-aging breakthrough called Fill and Freeze. And he's giving away one million bottles free. I've spent nearly 30 years looking for an effective instant breakthrough to reduce the appearance of wrinkles that can be applied topically instead of with surgery or invasive medical techniques. And I finally found it with Derm Exclusive's Fill and Freeze. Wow, I'm young again. I don't feel like an old lady. The lines are gone. Oh my God. Wow, I can't believe it. It looks really good. It gives you a whole new confidence. It definitely took 10 years off. If I went to a dermatologist here in the city, I would pay three, $400 for this. I know you're wondering what Derm Exclusive can do for you. Well, you don't have to wonder. You can order it right now and try it for yourself absolutely risk-free and here's how call now during this special direct-to-consumer offer and you won't pay 120 dollars today you can get your own instant results with fill and freeze for only 59 dollars but that's not all today we're taking another 20 dollars off so now you can get this instant wrinkle removing miracle for the low price of only 39.95 and as part of our 1 million bottle giveaway dr orden is including a second 60 dollar bottle of fill and freeze free that's nearly 120 dollars of fill and freeze for only only $39.95. Dr. Orden will even include his Micropure resurfacing pads, intensive repair serum, and collagen lift moisturizer, a $200 value free. Order now and we'll even upgrade your order to express delivery. That's a $15 value free. Plus, you even get to try it risk-free for 30 days with our money-back guarantee. But you must call to order. Call 1-800-399-2119. That's 1-800-399-2119. Order now. Do you have loose or missing teeth? Do you cover your mouth when you laugh? Appearance implants of Jupiter can give you the smile you've always wanted. Call now to schedule your free implant consultation. We have helped thousands of people like you feel confident and secure. And with fees this low, you'll have lots to smile about. Why wait any longer to have the smile you've always wanted? Call now to schedule your free implant consultation. Appearance implants of Jupiter. Quality dentistry at affordable prices. I'm Bill Bellamy, and we have four amazing people from all across the country on their webcast trying to win up to $35,000. So let's meet them! From Cleveland, Ohio, give it up for Brittany! From Philmont, New York, give it up for Michael! From Bozier City, Louisiana, flight time in the house! From Southfield, Michigan, give it up to Rosalind! Welcome, everybody. We asked America their opinions on a bunch of fun topics, and all you have to do is guess what America said, and you win the big money. If you're ready to have some fun, say yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. All right. This first question is worth $100, and it has two possible answers. The answers are their closet, their personal life. And the question is, which do single women in their 20s say is a bigger mess, <laughs> their closet, their personal life. Let's go to Cleveland, Ohio, and welcome our new friend, Brittany! Hey, Bill, how are you? Brittany, you have a great smile, a cool band behind you. Tell us about yourself. All right, well, my band is called Radioactive. We're a top 40 band. We're playing all the best hits, everything that's awesome on the radio. We do bar mitzvahs, weddings, bars, all that good stuff. And we put together something for you today. Would you like oh, to hear it, Bill? Alright, let's do it! Will you two compete and a win some money on Let's Ask America? Thank you, Brittany! 
<laughs> you got everybody in a good mood. Here we go. Let's turn those cards around, see how you're feeling. All right. Two for life, two for closet. With 73% of the vote, the correct...